Now, please welcome the Managing Director of Matchroom Sport and the promoter of Daniel Jacobs, Mr. Eddie Herbert. New York, how you doing? Brooklyn, how you doing? Mexico, how you doing? Okay. Guys, just want to echo uh, what Joe said earlier. This is a, an amazing moment for design and you know, fight fans over here for a long time, you've been paying a lot of money for the super fights, and that's really about to change. The fight itself, we have to give a huge amount of credit and respect to Canelo and to Oscar and the team. They know about this fight. They know how tough this fight is. And I can just see a little bit of worry, I don't know, maybe, no. <laughs> Bernard, I don't know, Robert. These guys know more about boxing than I'll ever know. And they know about this fight. They know about this fight. But isn't it great that we have a super fight, Cinco de Mayo and T-Mobile? Isn't it great that we have a moment in the sport when two great champions can come together? Because I have to be honest, there were plenty of TV executives out there that told us this fight won't happen. There is no way Canelo and Golden Wild fight Danny Jacobs. I think Danny even feared that himself. But for a long, long time, when we signed Daniel Jacobs, he has told me many, many times three special words. Bring me Canelo. And on May the 4th, he gets his chance. He gets his chance, not just to have a great story. We know the Daniel Jacobs story. It's incredible. One day it will go down as the greatest comeback story in the history of the sport. The man was told he may not live, he may not walk again, but he will certainly never fight again. He came back to win the World Middleweight Championship and now he stands before you to be the unified Middleweight World Championship. The best fighter in the world, the Ring Magazine Champion. All these things. But you know, when I saw him fight Gennady Golovkin and that final bell went, I thought, wow, Jacobs has done it. Jacobs has done it. Jacobs has come back from cancer. He's come back from never fighting again and he's done it. And I thought, I just believe the gods, although it was a close fight, the gods are going to give him this win. But they didn't, because they waited for this moment. They waited for this moment when he can go out on this platform against the very best in the world and create a legacy that will never, ever be forgotten in the sport of boxing. And I've never been so confident in a 50-50 fight, because that's what this is. Because I believe that this young man walks with faith. And I believe that on May the 4th, he will become the unified middleweight champion of the world. Fate is a wonderful thing. But when you combine it with talent, it goes a long way. And for my Mexican friends, I was in Tijuana at the weekend. What a place. What a place. La Chana, my favorite song. True story. And Cinco de Mayo is such a wonderful weekend of celebration for you great people. Not this year. <laughs> Not this year. I wish both of you the best of luck. My heart, my head is with this young man, the best middleweight on the planet. And on May the 4th, you will get a night and a show you will never forget. Thank you and God bless. Thank you.